super fast and slippery roads of Japan's Rally Hokkaido caught out several drivers in the Asia Pacific Rally Championships fifth round. Day one was dominated by Indian driver Gaurav Gill driving an MRF tyre Skoda S2000 that, on the fast forestry tracks, was reaching nearly 200 kilometres an hour. Last year's champion, Proton driver Alistair McRae, pushed hard to stay in touch with Gill. But the Scotsman's challenge and any chance of retaining the APRC driver's title disappeared early on day two when his Proton's engine died. With McRae out, that left Gill and co-driver Glenn McNeil a seemingly easy run to victory. Oh, three minus right. 70, small crest, centre, 70, five minus right over crest, 150. Four plus right over gutter into medium crest, four minus right. But then he too suffered mechanical problems. The Skoda's clutch failing at the start of stage 15. The clutch uh, broke on the on the road section, no warning, nothing, just uh, came on a, a traffic light and uh, there was no cl uh, clutch pedal. Yeah. I'm, I have no words, I don't know what to say. Although it was his first time rallying in Japan, Finland's Juha Salo left the start thinking that he was now in the lead. <laughs> But his run in first place only lasted two kilometres before the Proton driver ripped off a wheel on a hidden concrete culvert. With the three very fast S2000 cars out of the event, it was Yuya Sumiyama's turn to take the lead in his Cusco Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10. The Japanese driver held on to the top spot to the finish, winning the APRC category and taking maximum points in his bid to win back the Asia Cup. Samyama-san, congratulations, a wonderful win. I guess totally unexpected in a way, but you um, were pushing right from the start. Yeah, uh, uh, Rally Hokkaido, uh, Rally Cup first finish, and uh, overall second finish. Uh, very ha happy. Uh, condition very good, uh, and Cusco uh, Evo 10, and Yokama Taya, uh, no trouble, very perfect. Uh, very, very thank you. Hi. Driving an MRU prepared Subaru, New Caledonian driver Daniel Palu was second in the APRC and the Asia Cup. While amazingly, Karamjit Singh from Malaysia was third in his Proton Satria and won the two wheel drive category. 16 crest, left nine, 70 flat crest, 70, what, yum crest, right eight, yes, 100, right eight, maybe a little long. Into crest 20, right six. Uh, you know, yesterday in stage two, the long stage, the first stage yesterday, and I had I had a puncture, and I thought that's it, my chances are gone. You know, and uh, you know I lost a minute and a half there, but I uh, of course I charged after that, and I and I managed to catch up and uh, you know go ahead and, and beat and win the two wheel drive category. So I'm very happy with that, and uh, leading the championship now by I think 22 points. So looking forward to China now and. Uh, I think in China I just have to finish third and I will be the champion again. New Zealander Mike Young had led the two-wheel drive and junior cup until he crashed in stage six. I don't know whether it was bad luck or I just didn't anticipate how wet it was going to be. And I think we just went a, started our line a bit towards the left so we could line up for the next corner, but they also decided it was extremely muddy. So when we braked for the next corner and tried to turn, just kept going straight, and that was that basically, and went over the ditch and into more cars. So that's it. And the two right across opens wrong. Got my. Ooh.
Akira Bamba from Japan then only had to finish to clinch his second junior title. Very difficult to keep my pace and uh, today is very laugh, yeah, too much laugh and uh, my car, a little bit problem in drive shaft. I'm very scary every stage, yeah, but I come back to here, I'm very happy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. APRC, a junior champion yes. and a two wheel drive champion. Yeah, so. The Asia Pacific Championship now heads to China, where New Zealander Brian Green, now second overall in the driver's points, has an outside chance of taking the 2012 title if current leader Chris Atkinson fails to finish.